I want to talk to you school leaders about the importance of issue spotting, especially when it comes around your construction projects. One of the most important things I think that you can do is having telemetry, a clear line of sight into how things are developing. One of the big misnomers that a school district has when they're facing renovation or additions to their campus communities or they're adding new campuses to their, uh, their footprint, right, new construction, is they trust too much in the words and the attitudes of the stakeholders that they have hired. A lot of times it comes down to my GC's got it or my architect's tracking it. And I'm not trying to say that they don't. I think all toll, everybody that shows up wants to do a good job. But issues come up. And if you don't have a collective system of some kind where you can see the small issues as they bubble up and start to take some proactive, corrective action before they become big issues, well, you are in for some big issues. The problem with what I find in a lot of school districts is that they don't have a consistent approach. There's not a repeatable proven process. My inspiration behind Owner Insight was to put that owner back in control. And I'm not making this a commercial about Owner Insight, but it's the platform that we built to make sure that the owner stays in control of the data, the documentation, the communication, and has the ability to ask questions. And those questions often revolve around potential issues that could lead to delays, could lead to cost overruns, and those are all bad things to have happen. The funny thing that I see is that because most districts don't know that they need to take that active role, they're sort of hoping <laughs> that everything just goes off without a pitch, you know, without a hitch. They pick the right people, they've got the right people in place. And reality is, is that the people that you have hired to execute on this project, whether it's your architect, your engineer, your consultants, your GCs, and of course those subs, they are profit motivated. They are there to make as much money as they possibly can in each and every project. They're not always looking out for the best interest of the district. And that's why having the ability to have some clear line of sight into what's going on and how things are evolving and making sure that people aren't making decisions that are above their pay grade, that they have the opportunity to have a conversation with you and your leadership team to make sure that things are moving the way that you need them to move. Not only from a cost perspective, but just an efficiency perspective. Because if one stakeholder gets to go off on a crazy direction and nobody calls them on it, guess what? Others will do the same because that becomes the culture of the project. And issue spotting, in my opinion, is so important and so critical. Do I expect you to be an expert in construction? Absolutely not. Do I expect you to know all the ins and outs of what these trades are doing? No. What I do expect is that they are educating you along the way. And they educate you by providing clear information. They provide you the reporting and the structure so that you can have a well-established understanding of what's going on and how it should evolve and, and what should take place and in what time frames and at what cost. There should be no gotchas, which unfortunately comes back down to what my motivation was for Owner Insight. If you don't have that going into one system, your GC's operating in their software and their platform for documentation and they're only sending you emails or updating you at the occasional, uh, you know, OAC meeting, that becomes a problem because you don't get a, a clear, visible uh, direction. There's no transparency there. Um, that system is theirs. They own that data and that's a problem. Same for all of the other stakeholders. If everybody is trying to operate out of all these fiefdoms, how could anybody be organized? That's why we wanted to create a platform that allows people to be able to have that information, to be able to structure it in a way that everybody kind of understands what everybody else is doing and what is being asked of everyone to do, right? And when that is important. So whether it's owner insight or some other tool that you use, it's very important for the school district to have that control. I know it sounds daunting. I know it sounds uh, like it can be super frustrating, but I promise you it's absolutely necessary to ensure that you're going to deliver on what you've committed to your school community and your overall community to deliver by way of the project. It's so important. So figuring out how to create a process where there's transparency and accountability for all concerned, understanding the small issues before they become big issues, 
And having a clear understanding of how we're going to resolve these things when they take place or when they occur so that there are no gotchas, there's no surprises, is probably one of the strongest things that you can do for your project. And I highly, highly recommend it. Now, you might think to yourself, hey, Steve, I'm just doing a small renovation over the summer. Or, yeah, we're thinking about that next big high school. The same philosophy goes into the small project and it goes into the big project. Because at the end of the day, you're going to end up with that result. You're going to have to live with it. And we want to make sure that it's a result that you're happy to live with. This is part of your legacy. This is part of what you've been asked to do. It's important for you to have a clear understanding of how it's going to develop, evolve, and deliver. And if you don't have the tools or the technology to help you properly document, track, and manage these things along the way, you're eventually going to hit a wall that you're going to wish you did. As my good friend Joshua Mermis says, hope in delivering a great project is not a strategy. Strategy is strategy. Think about what you're going to do before you start your next project to make sure that you've got clear line of sight on issue spotting.